Hello everybody and welcome to Virtual Worlds Raw Stories. I'm playing through the 100 best video games and in at number 99 is Her Story. I have never played it before, so let's just jump in and see what happens. So this game came out in 2015 and I've never played it. I've purposely avoided knowing anything about it because I heard it's a very fascinating game, very unique game, and it's something that I... Uh, Really wanted to play. Okay, so we've got this sort of database. Search items murder. Already. <laughs> Off to a good, good start. Let's have a look. Okay, so there's no tutorial or anything. It looks like we're just straight in. So let's, uh, let's give it a go. You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? So either there's been a death, or there's been a lot of crows that have been found. I think, I think, there might be a lot of crows about. So let's look for some crows. Yeah, that's me. Right. But February, that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Simon's murder. Okay, so Simon has a flock of crows, it seems. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. Uh, maybe Simon's the... Uh, maybe si Simon's the, the leader of the crows. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other... Just that. Stories. Like virtual world's real stories. See, she, uh, she, she, she's subscribed. So this is a game made of films video, which is very rarely done nowadays. It happened a lot in the late eighties and the early nineties, but it's fallen out of favour. And this was solely based on it. So she's talking about murder. So let's have a look for crows. Zero inch. Maybe, maybe just a single crow. Huh. Uh, counting crows. That was a very popular band. <laughs> okay. All right, so it's a bit avant-garde. Um, what else can we search for? Well, I think the best thing to do is just search for Simon. 61 entries found, access limited to the first five entries. Simon, Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Right, so it seems, from what I've gathered, my bird theory has fallen through very quickly, which, to be honest, I'm a little bit upset about. But what seems to have happened is sh this Simon Smith has been murdered. This woman, did she say her name? I can't remember if she said her name or not, um, has, is, is calling for questioning. We have to try and find out, I reckon, who did it. Um, Simon is six foot, six darkish foot. blonde hair. Darkish blonde hair. Average build. Average build. Yeah. He's clean shaven. Yeah. With his beard grows, it goes ginger. So oh my, that's shaven. exactly what... That's exactly with me. Not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. And bought a photo. I mean, am I... Photo. This is written about me, am I... This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. Oh, no. I haven't been to Rome. That's when I have. At least last year. Nor have I been on holiday with a significant other. So that's not to me. I've always wanted to be on Law & Order Special Victims Unit. In video game entertainment systems, there are games that are exemplary and those considered especially heinous. The dedicated team of professionals who play and review these games are members of the lead squad known as me sitting alone in front of my laptop. This is Virtual Worlds Real Stories. It's one of my favourite TV shows, genuinely. It's one of my favourite TV shows, the early series. Oh, I'd love to be on it. Maybe as a cop. If you're anything but a cop, then you haven't got a good good time of it on that show. Actually, the cops don't have a good time. So this is going to be the closest I get to uh, being Christopher Maloney. Uh -huh. Simon sometimes plays games. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, save the princess. That kind of thing. Climb the tower, save the princess. Climb the tower. So he's into video games, I see. Is he? He's definitely dead. Otherwise, I would ask him to like and subscribe. Let's have a look for, let's have a look for video games. Let's see what she says here. Mum and Dad had never had any reason to notice. They were always busy. If Hannah was eating a lot, they didn't mind. And she didn't put on any weight. 
that a girl has a healthy appetite. Um, if they heard us talking in the attic, they just thought it was Hannah playing one of the games, and that Eve was our imaginary friend. <laughs> Once, she was already up and dressed and ready to go to school, and I snuck down for a piss. Mum saw me in my underwear, and she went mad. Get dressed this instant, so I ducked into our bedroom, <laughs> and seconds later, out came Hannah, dressed and ready. Mum was amazed. I think I've jumped ahead quite a lot. I, I'm guessing she has a twin. I think she might have a twin. Anyway, let's go back to, uh, there was one final clip on the Simon one. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something. There must have been some kind of accident. But she's beautiful. So when was this? The f I, there's actually a lot to take in here. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot to take in. What's this? Can you open that? Oh. Oh, I should probably read this. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos from the original tapes in 99. And the whole Y2K thing here. And they got mothballed. I don't know when it's touched them since. I couldn't find the server detected footage on. They got damaged. The old archives were flooded. Uh, climate change and low sea walls. Homicide and serious crime tape archive at Portsmouth. I've been to Portsmouth. I wasn't in Portsmouth in 99 before anything. Before any accusations are flung about. I was not in Portsmouth in 99. Oh, okay, that's brilliant. That looks like we're looking at the screen. This is actually the script. Let's keep it on that. There we know. Let's keep it on that. You got the recipe of sea facts. See facts. Oh my god, that is old school. Who remembers see facts? There's very little setup to this. Very, you're just thrown in, and yet I am absolutely, utterly intrigued. Eric, always a lot about Eric. Okay. So it was Friday evening. We had an argument. He left. On Saturday, he didn't come back. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. Right. Well, he didn't show. Okay. So the picture that I'm building up is that Simon went out to the pub on Friday, tied one on, but no one knows where he tied it on to because he ain't come back. She's cooking some dinner. Eric's been stood up. What's going on? Pop round to old mother and father-in-law. Ain't seen the kid for a while. She comes to the first. So let's try typing in Simon Smith. Let's see what that brings up. Just the one, okay. You only need to mention his name once. Say it three times and he appears behind you. Um, wow, this what it's like to be a copper. Oh, it was a good job I became an actor. Let's have a look for, what's her name, Diane? Oh, it's a couple more. She, bloody hell, she's gonna perform Wonderwall, amazing. Yeah, that's Simon's watch. It was a wedding anniversary gift. Steel. So they are married. That time you must eliminate me. I was in Glasgow then. Ooh, right here we go. What co what's she what's she gonna cover? Maybe Simon was being too much of a perfectionist. But I don't know. You should ask Diane. Why does she have a guitar? <laughs> Who brings a guitar to interrogation room? This is a question I need answered right now. Oh my God, she's about to play it. No, Simon didn't play guitar. He wasn't very musical. He liked to listen, but he was tone deaf. You want me to play something? I'm not the world's greatest guitar player. <laughs> Country rules are king walking by the sea. Oh, the wind and the rain. The eldest one pushed the other one in. Oh, the dreadful wind and the rain. 
This took to traditional ballad Where, in, in what tradition then it gets weird. When I searched for game earlier, she mentioned a sister, a twin sister. I think I might have jumped ahead quite a bit by doing that. Afterwards, she told someone about me, told him I was pregnant. She wanted me to move in with them, this sister you didn't know she had. Do you know, I've got a feeling I'm onto something here. But I don't want to ruin it for myself, so I'm just going to go elsewhere. I'm going to go on a tangent instead and see what else. I got in the car and I drove. When I finally stopped, I was all the way up in Glasgow. I mean, that's, quite, that's quite a drive to Glasgow. I've walked from the top of Scotland to Glasgow and then I carried on walking from Glasgow all the way down to Cornwall. Has nothing to do with this, just thought I'd flex. Yes. Um, I got to Glasgow, I was exhausted, so I pulled over and slept in the car. I got some petrol, poured a coffee and a pastry. Tried what pastry? From the payphone. Yeah, but what pastry? Headed back. Listen, listen. You can't just drop these crumbs. I was driving badly and I hit a taxi. The guy was so pissed off because I didn't have a driving licence on me. That when I told him I was pregnant, she's pregnant. He made sure I got to the hospital so they could check me out. Oh, she seems dodge, man. She seems dodge. The biggest question I need to ask is <sighs> you say pastry. Was it a, a turnover? Nope. Was it a croissant? <sighs> no. Was it a sausage roll? See, I don't know if it's sweet or savoury? Was it a pasty? I mean, she's in Glasgow, so... Meat pie? <sighs> Gutted. Gutted. Well, that's the end of this investigation. No, so she's pregnant. I got pregnant. She got pregnant, okay. Both our parents had a big powwow. We weren't even in the room. And they decided we should get married. So this was a long time ago because she celebrated anniversary steal she says I'm pregnant what this morning sickness so she was pregnant before and then they got married it's Rapunzel mother Gothel a witch takes Rapunzel from her parents and keeps her locked up in this tower Rapunzel gets pregnant by the prince I read those fairy tales over and over and they were so real to me now we know these in colour Damn, she likes her fairy tales. But she do know that she was in a story of her own. We were obsessed with fairy tales. Rapunzel's hair is cut. The eagle plucks out his heart. The princess pricks her finger. There's a lot of uh, symbolism and imagery here. So what I'm getting is that she, she read these fairy tales as a kid and then she got haunted by crows. Now it's not the crows thing, Scott. I wonder if you can just look for who 
murdered Simon. Nah, thought it would be. Just thought, just thought it'd be a little stab in the dark. Ooh, stab. Let's have a look at that. How did he die? I don't actually know how he died. They said it was food poisoning. Food poisoning? There was something in the food they ate. My dad liked to pick mushrooms, grow them too. They said it was the mushrooms, but I mean, the police had no reason to think it was suspicious. They lived oh. alone and no one had any reason to hurt them. Parents are dead. Oh. I was living in the attic. It was a very hard time. I was depressed. I was still STD. What the hell? I came down one morning. They were dead. They were in bed and both had been sick. They'd thrown up not. And I'd slept through it. The police said it was the mushroom thing. Dad was a mushroom expert. And there's no way you would have picked that caps. But the police believed that's what happened. They never even looked in the attic. What? I've got to tell you something. This is... This is just videos of this... Actress, it's wonderful. She's a, she's a musician, Viva Seifert. She was she was a rhythmic gymnast in the 1990 Commonwealth Games. That's cool. And she appeared in an episode of the first series of Art Attack. These are just videos. Out of context, there's something very haunting and very creepy. That last one creeped me out. In the attic. This is this is fascinating. Oh my gosh. This is really fascinating. No. I lost the baby. Okay, she lost the first baby. At eight months. That's a shame. Eight I'm months. I carried on living at Simon's parents until about only a few months after. Then my parents died. It was the worst year of my life. So hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> hang on a second. So, timeline. Somehow Simon and... I still don't know her name. Somehow she and Simon met, fell pregnant, married. Eight months later, she miscarries. Then her parents died, but she said she was living in the attic. I've got, <laughs> I've got this theory. I don't know if I should say it out loud. I'm always like that. If I ever watch a movie with someone, I think I've cottoned on to what's going to happen. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should say it because then it might ruin the surprise. No, I'm going to lay my chips on the table because some of you may have already played this and know the ending. I think there's a twin sister, an identical twin sister, because that song has got to be about them. What I'm confused about is who's telling the story. Oh, I don't, I don't want to say it in case I look like an idiot. I got this feeling that the clips where she's saying, oh my God, this is amazing. I've got the feeling the clips where she's saying, I was in the attic, isn't her. I've got a feeling it might be her twin sister. Ugh. What I want to Google is, I want to Google what a steel anniversary is. 11 years? Oh, Scotty, Scotty, Scotty. What have you let yourself into? So she's been, so they've been married for 11 years. It's 1994, so that means they could have died in 1983. Yes. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to move back. Me and Simon reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic. Oh, Dollhouse in the attic. Okay, the word attic just keeps coming back. We got married when I was 17. Perfect. Good. Okay. Okay, that frames a lot in my head. A lot better. Childhood sweetheart. Something like that. Oh. Not happy about that. When beautiful people died, I always felt like it was a sign. You remember Princess Grace? Grace Kelly? She died in a car crash the year before we met Simon. We used a Ouija board to speak to her, and that gave us the power to find him. That's what we thought then. <laughs> this is that crazy. People who died tragically leave some kind of magic behind. Who's this we? We used to share dreams. We used to wake up and write them down in our diaries immediately and compare them. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. This is freaking me out. 
this is so well written, this is freaking me out. Some differences? She's a better driver than me. She passed the test for us. I tried to take it and nearly crash the car. <laughs> Learned that you can't rely on confidence to get you through everything. Mm. She is the shy one. She was especially shy around boys. If Hannah liked a boy, I would have to pursue him. It was that way with Carl. Carl. I met him first. And she had such a crush. I let him take my virginity after the night that his band had played at. It got difficult. When I was with Carl, we would have sex, but Hannah couldn't. Couldn't let him see she was a virgin. She had lots of excuses. What? After a while, we decided that I should take Hannah's virginity. What? It's not that different to a bruise, pulling a tooth, a graze. We used a hairbrush. Oh my gosh. After this that, it in turns, though, I was always the one who took the boys. a turn. Until Simon. Hang on. Hang on. There's a lot to unpack there. Just wait. <laughs> Hang on a second. What just happened? So she has a night. Oh my god. So she has. There's a sister. They are twin sisters. They are so alike. Sorry, there's so much going on. She would seduce the guys for Hannah. And then Hannah would just date them. They are that alike. She slept with Carl. And then Hannah would date him. And then whenever it got around to having sex, she would just have to tap out. Be like, oh, to the old switcheroo. Get your stunt double in. Get your Brad Pitt to your Leonardo DiCaprio in. Take the hit. Off you go. Come back. Mess your hair up. Bam. Hi, Hannah. Until Simon. After the wedding, Hannah moved in with his parents. There was no way I could follow. So we were separated again. I stayed in the attic. It was hard. I would sneak out, but in case anyone recognised me, I started wearing a wig. Hannah and I would meet up in the park. I was trying pregnant. I was 17. Oh my god. I felt like I was being punished. And then, what? Hang on. But it was Hannah who had betrayed us. Hang on. <laughs> What's going on? When we met up, it was disturbing. For the first time, my inflection, she didn't look like me. She was fatter. Flushed. She was very thin. I was getting skinnier. Rather kind of hard to look sometimes. We talked about what to do. Was it time to become our own people? And that seemed like the right thing to do, but neither of us wanted it. We agreed that her and Simon would get their own place as soon as possible, and then I could move in. What? And that was the plan. On earth is this sister-sister madness right now? This went from just a humble little murder investigation to... A freaking cavalcade of family drama and emotion and backstory that I have no idea where it's going. What do I need to look for? Right, two things I need to look for. My name is... I want to know her name. My name is Hannah. H-A-N-N-A-H. It's Poundre. It reads the same backwards as forwards. It doesn't work if you mirror it, though. It's not quite symmetrical, but, well, you get the idea. Ha! <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, that's sorry. That is... Who wrote this? That is... Genius writing. Oh my god, this is absolutely amazing. From what we've learned so far, she's got a twin sister who is almost her reflection. She's saying, my name is Hannah. Oh, it's a palindrome. It's... But it's not symmetrical. That's a very early clip. This is what's creepy. Is that these later clips where she's wearing the white shirt... She's saying, 
Hannah did this and I did this. In this she's referring to herself as Hannah. Is that the same person or is she pretending to be Hannah? Yes, my name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> what? My name. That was the only question I failed. <laughs> the lie detector works. He saw me singing. Afterwards, I had a drink at the bar and he came over and we got talking. I knew who he was. Obviously I knew who he was. But he didn't know who I was. He was fascinated by the likeness. He guessed my name from my tattoo. Tattoo. <laughs> Told me it was a palindrome, like that would impress me. It was amazing to be able to sit and interact and talk to him after all this time. He didn't tell me he was married. Oh. <laughs> now she's got a tattoo. I'm going to give this a quick search and see if anything comes up. Oh, my tattoo. <laughs> I got it to express my individuality. It's an apple and a snake. Eve. Oh my god, I think her name's Eve. My god. <laughs> god, I think it's Eve. I think her name's... Because it's a palindrome. Well, my friend Eve. Well, she was a friend from when I was a kid. And she was oh. a kid, and I used to hate her for it. So... Oh my god. My mind is melting at this. So this woman here, Hannah, it's referring to white shirt later because that woman says she was very confident with the boys. She seduced the guys and she says she hated it. Eve. Is she Eve? We walked on the beach once and I held Eve's head underwater. Drowning, like the... There was no one else around. The like the song. The beach. I held her head under and I kept it. This is a very Robert Durst moment. She doesn't know it's been recorded. Hot mic, hot mic. What if that was Morse code? Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Is that Morse code? Where's my pen? Where's my paper? This is amazing. <laughs> Let's try and do some Morse code. I really hope this will, uh, I really hope this is, uh, re uh, 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 yeah, I hope this is right. If not, then I'm an absolute jackass because I'm going to spend some time doing this. So let's do that again. So she's Brumble talking about Eve. My mother called me Eve. <gasps> Eve, Simon. I can't, okay, no. Eve, Hannah. Uh, oh no! <laughs> Attic. Could the hairs have come from somewhere else? Hairs? 
could they? We have a lot of Hairs. dolls in the attic. There's a Rapunzel doll with long blonde hair. Could they have come from there? Because she dyed her hair blonde. She wore a wig. She recognised me from the window. She told me to come inside and she hid me. No one else ever went into the attic. It was her place. Ugh, why is it limited to the first five entries? See, this is why it's such a good game. <laughs> I just want to know what those other seven are. Let's look at Carl. I was really into him, regardless of how he actually behaved. Lots of drunken teenage sex. We did it in a church once. Oh. It's stupid. So he got tired of us and we split up after about six months. It was sad, but those early experiences, they help you realise who's really important to you, you know? Family. Oh, the way she the way she lingered on that then that was brilliant. Hannah was so smitten with Simon. She started getting jealous. Didn't want to share. Even the first date. We went to see Tom Cruise at the old Odeon. We both went. Kept changing places in the toilet. What? We only had one best dress, so we had to keep swapping clothes. Must have thought we had terrible bladder problems. The next date, it was my turn. See, as an only child. Um, at the end, <laughs> I let him kiss me. This is But that was it. Insane. I didn't want another car in the hands, and the Ouija board had said to hold back. Ouija board. I've got to look at this Ouija that, board. it was Hannah's turn, and... Bad things with Ouija boards. Don't play with Ouija broke boards. Broke the rules. So they Hannah slept. She broke the rules. She wanted to be the first. I mean, that's when she got pregnant. From that one time. Hang on. Hang on. What? I need to know who's. I need to know if she. I need. I need to know if pre white shirt. If pre third of. July. I need to know if pre third of July is evil Hannah, and I can't tell. Wig. This was nine, about nine. I went round and she was waiting for me. She was furious and so angry. The kind of anger you can only have towards yourself. We screamed at each other, argued, cried, we fought. I hit her back left a bruise. I had my wig on from performing and she tore it off. Eventually we grew tired of fighting and I left. No, 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 no. No, 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 don't do that. No, 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 no. Look up twin. I haven't seen her wearing that. Twins? <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? Are you out of your mind? Twins? Yeah, twins. I know you've got a twin. Florence Stop lying to me. With her. Florence. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Take away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. What? Who's Florence? Let's have a look at Florence. Across the road, where my parents first lived there, was a midwife called Florence. Okay. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. The midwife was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. The midwife told my mother I was dead. Wow. But I wasn't. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. Wow, that's... That's dark. Florence raised me in her home, 
I never left it. She kept me out of sight. I grew up looking out of my window and seeing her across the road. I thought it was like a reflection in the mirror. Oh my God, so she was nearly ki- she nearly died. She nearly- in birth, and then the midwife took her, and she grew up across the street from Hannah. When I found her diary, I also found a biscuit tin with other stuff in it, all the papers, letters, that kind of thing. Her story wasn't there. Her story, yeah. But her husband died in the war. Isn't that strange? She was a widow from her twenties. I'm just, I'm just going to type in. Her story is that she'd waited for him to come back. She put on my wig, some of my clothes, pretended to be me. They talked. She'd enjoyed being me. He said. He wanted to be with me. Then he took out a present. Another mirror. Just like the one he'd given her earlier. (laughs) That unique present. She went crazy, smashed the mirror. They argued, screamed. He hit her. So she grabbed a piece of the mirror and just swung it round. She cut his throat clean open. She didn't even meant to scare him off. What? I, I, I'm sorry, what? That's <laughs> my... I'm welling up at how... What? Oh my god. I think... I think I've got it. Eve wears a wig to perform. Hannah and Simon are married, 11 years. Hannah has pretended to be Eve and slept uh, slept with Simon. So Simon's having an affair with Eve. Simon has presented Hannah with this unique gift of a mirror. Hannah then pretends to be Eve, meets up with Simon. Simon says, I want to be with you and gives her another mirror, the exact same mirror, saying it's a unique gift for you. And then she cuts his throat. Like I said before, it was three, something like that. I walked in, saw Simon. He was on the floor of the living room. His throat had been cut. There was a lot of blood. I can't believe the admission of guilt is the title of the game. Didn't even think to type it in. Alibi. Oh my god, so Ah! It happened very quickly. We hardly had to talk to each other. We agreed almost silently. The baby was what mattered. We'd help each other. We cleaned up. We bagged up the broken mirror, (gasps) our clothes. They're gone. We took him down to the cellar. We knew I, we had an alibi. 
and we wanted the body to be found later. We wanted to have suspicion on us so we could then disprove it rather than have it linger. Better to keep the body in the house than risk being seen with it. The watch, that was my touch to make sure the alibi stuck. Folks, my mind has just been blown. My mind is irreparable. Hannah, you've got to, I think you've got to put Hannah in it. Because she's not, because Han, you wouldn't say your own name. She's going to be talking about Hannah. It's like I told you before, I drove. I took the car and drove. I don't have my own car, but I have a spare set of keys. I just drove north. I wanted to think for some space between me and them. Everything I've told you before is true. Huh? I was tired, exhausted. I pulled out and I hit a car. My car was okay, but I was worried about the baby, so I went to A&E to get the okay. I oh was fine. Slept in the car. When I woke, I tried to call Hannah from a payphone. She wasn't answering. And then I decided to drive back. I had decided that she was more important to me than Simon. I could cry, I could genuinely cry at how brilliant this is. In that, that's it. That's it. That's it. In that one clip, she is just... Everything before her with the white shirt, everything before the 3rd of July, she's pretending to be Hannah. Now, of course, that was suspicion for Agent Bridge been confirmed. Because she said, everything I told you before was true. The question is, that I pose to you, what happened to Hannah? Is Hannah in hiding? Did Eve kill Hannah? As the song might have referenced. Third option. Were Eve and Hannah same person were there any were there ever any two sisters there's no completion to this game there's no well done you've cracked the case well done you've 100 percented it you've got all achievements you get it out of what you get trying to figure out the story and i feel that i have of course it's it's not it's it's very different in the traditional sense of the game but there's no reflexes i say there's no completion there's no end but I'm not going to lie to you. That was genuinely one of the best narrative experiences that I've been on. Genuinely. And I don't know if it's the music playing in my ear at the moment or not, but it, it's actually making me a little bit emotional thinking of it because it was, if this is number 99 in the 100 best games, I can't wait to see what the other 98 are. This is a game that will stick with me and I will talk about this for a long time. This genuinely is one of the... <laughs> this genuinely is one of the best gaming experiences I've had. I can't believe it's taken me four years to play this game and I'm just really grateful that I've had the opportunity to play it. I'm gushing, I know, but... Uh, credit to the developers and the writers the writers the script is amazing and my goodness credit to viva incredible incredible that was her story thank you so much for joining me have you played this game if so let me know in the comments below if you haven't did you enjoy the journey did you see it, as I was seeing it, what other avenues would you have gone down? What else would you have searched for? If you have played it and you've played it differently to me, what other pieces of information am I missing out on? Well, that was uh, number 99 <laughs> in the 100 best video games according to Edge publication in 2017. Number 99. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and stick around for more. 
this adventure's far from over. I've still got 98 more to go and hope that they're like this. For now, my friends, luck and more to you all. Catch you next time. Clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Wow. Wow.